What's up Rebels, it is Chunky Monkey 40 here. I got something a little bit different for you guys in this video. So you guys have probably noticed that in every single video I film here at the desk, I got this General Lee sitting right there. Well, a good friend of mine, Dave Arnold, he customizes these General Lees. And what he's gonna do to this one, the Stand Up General. If you've seen my video series on the Stand Up General Lee, the Stand Up General Lee is a wheel standing General Lee car that was built by a guy named Richard Sefton. I did a whole video series on the car, talking about the history, showing it off for the first time in 40 years, and then watching it drive for the first time in 40 years. All of that you could find in the Stand Up General Lee trilogy playlist, which will be linked down below. But I'm very excited to send this car off to Dave. Dave has done quite a few of these Stand Up General Lees. I think he did three of them actually. Actually, I might be wrong, but I think three of them is the right number. Because he did one, and then that second one, he ended up giving it to Angela Sefton, Rich's oldest daughter, and it turned out phenomenal, and then, then he built one for himself as well, and next up is mine. I'm very excited. I'm going to get this thing packaged up and sent out to him. As you can see in the back there, there's not really a back seat or anything. It's just like really low detail, so he's going to be adding a ton of detail to the inside of the car. He's going to make the doors open again, because on these ones, the doors don't open. They put like I guess something in there to block them and if you pull too hard on it You'll rip the door off. But yeah, I've had this general Lee for quite a few years Actually, my uncle Todd who came with me to hazard fest and brought me down there with Corey He got me this general Lee years ago. So but yeah, it needs to get cleaned up a little bit It's been sitting on my desk for a while, but he's gonna get it all tricked out. The engine's gonna go back there It's gonna be kick-ass man. I'm very excited to see what he does with it Unfortunately on these die casts the trunk doesn't open so you won't be able to see the Bode V drive in the back back like the actual stand-up General Lee. But anywho, I'm going to get it cleaned up, get it put back in the box, and then I'm going to get it in the mail tomorrow, December 4th. Yeah, I don't have any of the padding that goes around it anymore. But once he's done customizing it, it's not going to really... Well, it might fit back in this box. I'm not totally sure. I'm going to put some bubble wrap in there just to protect the box. On the off chance that someone like runs it over with a car or something during transit, because you never know at the post office. <laughs> This is the box I'm going to ship it in. And I'm going to include some other stuff in there for Dave. Just as a sign of appreciation for him doing this for me. I'm going to give him, and I generally don't give a fuck, koozie. Some Chunky Monkey business cards. A couple Orange Cars Matter stickers. I generally don't give a fuck stickers. And the new Stay Rebel stickers. These things are really cool. I'm really happy with these. I'm going to give him print number 13 of 21 of the Orange Cars Matter Abandoned General Lee prints. If you guys saw my video, was the Dukes of Hazard racist? I talked about making bootleg versions and well here they are <laughs> so i'm gonna give one of these to dave as well and then lastly i'm gonna send him a stay rebel longhorn t-shirt he had requested for this one it's got the old chunky monkey logo on the back new one looks a lot different <laughs> I actually think the new one's a little bit thinner than the old one. Word to the wise, when you run out of uh, packaged air, grocery bags. It's a great usage for that abundance of grocery bags that pretty much every household in America has. Here we go. Got it all packed up. I'll talk to you guys when I get the car back. Today is January 5th. I sent the car out to Dave on December 3rd, and here it is. Oh, what a month can do. <laughs> I am kicking myself in the ass though because I just sat down to edit the video and I realized that the first half of my unboxing did not record. And, oh my God. <laughs> he had it packaged so well. I mean, there was a ton of packaging laid over here on the side. And, uh, man. Just like that slow process of me pulling the car out was awesome. It was great footage. But yeah, here's the car. Let's cut to the footage that I do have from when I unbox the car. I am still, I mean, it's been, what time is it right now? I don't even know. It's 2.46 a.m. and I am still, I can't focus because <laughs> I keep looking at this car. It is awesome the way this turned out. I mean, the way it's mounted, just fantastic piece of art. Dave, my, <laughs> my hat's off to you, brother. You did a phenomenal job on this thing and, and this too, the engine cart. I mean, just wow. Just wow, let me play some of the original clips. Alrighty, let's check this out. So right away you can see that there is an engine literally in the back seat of the car, just like it is on the actual stand-up General Lee. Wow, the interior looks beautiful. Wow, it looks, l oh my God, it's literally identical to the way it looked on the car. Cause I got to sit in the car and this is exactly how it looked. This is amazing. 
And then he told me too to look in the under the hood. Yep. There it is. See, so they removed the engine from the front and put it in the back. If you guys haven't seen the stand-up general Lee story, they put it in the back seat so that then the car, when it gets enough speed, can do that. This is just beautiful, beautiful piece of artwork. It looks, I, 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 I'm like speechless right now. This is amazing. Oh, he's even got the little brake in the middle to be able to steer it when it's up in the air. That's what that little uh, black stick is in between the legs. This is amazing. Dave. Wow. I, I, I'm going to call you here in a minute, but this is amazing. And so now on the underside of this car, you could see he literally did everything perfectly. Even underneath, he did everything perfectly. I mean, look, you got the zoomies that run right into the open headers. And then, I mean, just everything is perfect. These are the radiator lines right there running through the spot for the drive shaft. I mean, this is a work of art. And there's the bowed V-drive in the back. So you got that top axle. And then there's this block right there that basically there's gears in there that reverse it. So when the car is going forward, the engine is actually moving as if it's in reverse. I believe that's how that works. And then it flips it back here. I'm pretty sure that's how that works, but I am no mechanic. I am just a YouTuber. Take my words as a grain of salt, <laughs> but I believe that is how that works. Again, it was funny when I sent this to Brian Grahams, he asked me, is there four pipes on the driver's side? Because if you guys remember when they unveiled the stand-up general, I think it was the front pipe that blew off. <laughs> Center a little too fucking hard, bud. Yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. He loved it though. He thought it was sweet. Shout out to Brian Grahams, the Volo Museum. God damn, that's fucking wow. That is so cool. And so now what I need to do is I need to line up these two screws and then get it screwed in so that it's doing a wheel stand. I'm gonna go back to the main camera for that because <laughs> that's gonna be a process. I just need to find a screwdriver. Yep, we are recording. <laughs> oh, and then there's the antenna as well. I forgot about that. The antenna's gonna look great on there. I'll have to get some glue in. Actually, I have some glue. I'll glue that on there. Oh, it's a flathead. That one in that hole. Jesus is gonna be sweet. I don't wanna go too tight, I don't think. Yep, I think that's good. Here we go. Oh my God, that is so cool. And here's the spot for the antenna. Pop that in there for now. That is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is sweet. There we go. That is amazing. Wow. Turn it around for you. This looks incredible. Wow. Dave, thank you so, let's call him. Let's call him up. Hello. Hey Dave. Anything broken? Nope, nothing is. But dude, this looks immaculate. <laughs> told you it was a pretty good one. Oh my god, a, a pretty good one. <laughs> yeah, I told you you got the best out of the three so far. Dude, this is amazing. Did this. You mount it to the base? Yes, I just got it all done. I got it unpacked. And by the way, I'm filming right now. You're on camera. Say hi, everybody. <laughs> oh, hello, everybody. Yeah, I, I, I videoed it and dude, just wow. This is amazing. I mean, seriously, this, I don't even know. Thank you so much. Yeah, did the uh, little frame okay? That's yep, everything's good with that as well. That, that was the first thing I had opened up. I was like, well, let's open the small box first and then we'll get to the car because he said he packed that pretty good <laughs> and you did. Yeah, yeah, it was in there good. Oh yeah, I, I got bubble wrap for the rest of the year now for all my orders. <laughs> Yes, I was worried that the case was gonna get cracked, but it was alright. Oh no, it's perfect. Yeah, it's this looks amazing. I mean, I just you know I just unboxed it, and uh, this it, just the detail in it is amazing. Yeah, that one was pretty good. That's why I said I I took a lot more time trying to detail the interior up and stuff on it. I'm gonna take the glass piece off again open the doors because this literally looks identical to the way it looked at the Volo Museum. I mean, there's almost no difference other than, yeah. you know, the size, of course. It's about 18 times smaller. But <laughs> You notice the push bar is different? I oh. it with a different one. 
Oh wow, yeah, I see that now. That that's awesome. Yeah, that's a different one. That's the ones the guy makes on eBay that he makes the or the rims and push bar. He sells them like that. Yeah, it looks, dude. It just looks amazing. I mean, I don't even know what to say. It's beautiful, <laughs> really. Thank you so much, Dave. Yeah, I can disp uh, display it on your desk. Oh yeah, and you, I mean you'll see it in every single video I shoot in my uh, studio from here on, and, and like the carpet inside of it. Just yeah, wow. remember I said I had to trim it back after I glued it down. Yeah. <laughs> Because mine, like I said, the doors on mine don't shut correctly. Yours, because I was trying to get them to shut right, and it kept the one kept popping out a little bit. I'm like, you know what? I bet you that rug is in a freaking way. And sure enough, <laughs> yeah. Somebody contacted me the other day, wanted me to build one. I'm like, you know, I said, you know what? Too much time and money. Unless no, he's willing I mean, to pay it. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot of work. I mean, it just looking at this piece, you could see, I mean, how much work you put into it, and it is beautiful. Yeah, I've got I mean, over 20 hours in that car. Wow. Easily. Yeah, this some is, of this stuff is hard to see because it's jammed up in there, but... Yeah, this is just beautiful. Dave, thank you so much. Hey, you're welcome, bud. I don't mind doing it for you, you know. There's, there's only three of them out there, so... Yeah, and it's... Except for, except for that first one I did, which was not anywhere near correct. Because <laughs> I didn't have any pictures of it. So. I think this stand piece is pretty unique. Yeah. And thank you for doing wheels, this as well. Those wheels are... Uh, the tires are off a 116 scale Dodge Charger model. Huh. They look pretty good, so I'm like, geez, I wonder if I could... I was thinking about wondering if I could get those up underneath the regular Ertl car. I bet you they would, actually. Enjoy amazing. It, man. Thank yeah. you so much, Dave. This looks amazing. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's good. It's a work of art. Um, the stand-up Gen Lee, basically what they would do to get to, like, you know, be able to really work on the engine. What they do is, I think this was just bolted onto the car originally. So if the car is sitting right here, what they're going to do is they're going to unbolt this, and then they are going to just simply lift up the back of the car with, like, a crane or something, and then this would just slide out. Then they'd have this piece that then they could work on the engine and do what they needed to do because, you know, it would be a pain in the ass to just be, you know, crawling in and out of this car. I mean, if you look at it, this is exactly how it looks inside the stand-up general as well. I'm gonna have to get a better shot of it. It's so nice having two cameras to work with. <laughs> so yeah, could you imagine if any of you guys are mechanics or anything, trying to take apart that engine while it's in the back seat of this car? I I mean, there would not be much room inside of a 69 Dodge Charger to work on a, you know, maybe do some fine tuning and what have you, but uh, to actually work on the engine, that would be a pain in the ass. It's a small car to work with, so. And then the horns under the hood and stuff, those I get from that guy that makes the wheels and uh the... Yep, that was actually one of the first places I checked was I opened the hood to see what was under there. And uh, sure enough, you know, you see the Dixie horns and all that. I've never even seen those, uh, you know, being done no, on the little model cars. The, the guy that I buy those wheels off, uh, the, the wheels in the push bar, he, I was talking to him. And I said, geez, you know anybody that makes anything else for him? He goes, well, I, I got the Dixie horns in the CB radio. I'm like, really? That's cool. He was going to work on a roll bar and everything, but my buddy does 3d printing so huh. i had him do the main part of the roll bar that's 3d printed and i had all the rest Ooh. of the stuff on it like i said there's a lot of time on it you know a lot yeah of time and, and thank you so much for being willing to build this for me dave it really means a lot to me and it's a it's a piece I'm going to cherish for a very, very, very long time. Yeah, I hope you can get some good comments on it. Oh, yeah. This is this is a remarkable piece. Thank you so oh, much. I'm Ooh. glad I got there in one piece. Got my good packing skills. Yeah, I mean, props to you on the packing skills, too. I got a whole mess in my studio over here of uh, all the packing stuff. You did a great job yeah. packaging it. The only other thing I didn't have for that car, I didn't have the, the back plate and the front plate. Oh, it's, I actually have some extras. I actually oh, have sorry. some extras of the license plates. I have a little decal sheet in a 1 16th scale model that I never finished building. I was gonna do like a junkyard find on it. it was turning out pretty cool, but I just kind of gave up on it. But I'm gonna use some of the decals for this stand-up General Lee. That'll be badass on there. And plus, I mean, I've got a lot of them, so I'll put this on the back plate and then on the front plate. So this is pretty much how it's gonna look in all my future videos of the stand-up General Lee over here, and uh, I've been just keeping this piece right here. But yeah, I'm gonna get this taken off the base, and let's do these little decals. Where's the Osmo at there? Oh, shit, it sank to the bottom. And it's so small, too, it's like really tricky to grab. Did I put it in there long enough? I don't fucking know. I don't know if you're supposed to do it face up or face down. Oh, fuck, there it goes again. Yep, there it goes. It's coming off the paper now. Oh, fuck me, I tore it. God damn it, it wasn't ready. Fuck. Look it. I fucked her, bud. Time to use the other rebel flag. Dude, the rebel flag is just so cool. Oh, fuck it, let's get this thing off the base. It'll be easier that way. Set the screws over here so they don't get lost, even though in 10 minutes I'll forget where the hell I put them. 
kind of sketchy, but <laughs> it'll do the trick. I guess I'll do the back first, actually. Because that CNH 320 definitely has to be good. I mean, it's been in the water for well over five minutes. Yes, it's good. Cool. Ooh, that's like a perfect fit, too. And this is from the 118th scale. That looks awesome. <laughs> oh, shit. It came right off the paper. Fuck, 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 fuck. I'm going to fuck it up, aren't I? It's a little small on there, but that works actually perfect. That's fucking sweet. Fuck yeah. I, I, I'm i still just mind blown over this. I mean, this looks amazing. Yeah, it was fun. I mean, it was, like I said, I'm getting better. <laughs> you're, you're phenomenal. I don't know how much, I imagine. Honestly, though, and as far as the interior goes, I don't know how much more really detail I can put into it. Yeah, I mean, there's not much that you really could you do. You can't really see it. I mean, even though, I mean, you can look through a window and look kind of back there, but. I like it. I actually love it. I mean, I, I can't yeah, even say I, if, if I said I liked it, I'd be lying. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome, Dave. Thank you so much again. Yeah, enjoy it, like I said. And Thank you, Dave, and Happy New Year. And uh, oh, yeah, stay rebel, happy, brother. Keep in touch. Yes, yes, for sure. We'll keep in touch. Man, Dave is awesome. Dave, thank you so much, brother. This turned out fantastic. Thank you so much for being willing to put the work in to make this piece for me. This, like I said, is gonna be something I'm gonna cherish for years, and it's gonna sit right here on my desk for everybody to enjoy, because, you know, some of these videos get a little bit of views, and uh, yeah, when people see this car, you know, on display, they're gonna go nuts. They really are. I, I've, I'm still just speechless. This is an incredible, incredible piece. It's by far the coolest piece in my Duke's collection. By far. And with all that said and out of the way, guys, I am ChunkyMonkey40 at YouTube.com. Be sure to go watch the Stand Up General Lee trilogy on my YouTube channel. It'll be linked in the description, all three videos. Stay rebel, y'all. Ah. Now I gotta clean up all this packaging. Just some good old boys. Never meaning no harm. It beats all you ever saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day they was born. They straightened them curves. They flattened them heels. Well, someday the mountain might get them, but the law never will.